In this video, we are going to be talking about a potential new treatment for COVID-19. And this treatment relies on CRISPR. And CRISPR is this way that scientists for the last few years have been able to modify genomes. We've been able to insert and delete genes. And specifically what we're hoping to use CRISPR for in this case is to be able to delete very important genes in the genome of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the virus behind COVID-19. And so a professor at Stanford named Stanley Chi has been working on a technique referred to as Pac-Man. And this is also the long-winded form of the prophylactic antiviral CRISPR in humans. And so what this technique is basically doing is we are using a protein referred to as Cas13 and some guide RNA. And what these two things do is they work together in order to identify the SARS-CoV-2 genes. And then what happens is the guide RNA will stick onto the genes for the SARS-CoV-2 virus. And then the Cas13 protein will come along and it's going to recognize the guide RNA. It's guided by the guide RNA and it's going to then basically destroy the Cas or the protein, the genes for the SARS-CoV-2 virus. And so by destroying the genes for the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the virus is no longer able to make progeny. So it helps people who've been infected by the coronavirus fight it off much more effectively because the virus is now a lot weaker than it was previously. And so another way of visualizing this is if we were to consider your cells, <laughs> my props here if this was one of your cells and this cell was just infected by the coronavirus we know the coronavirus has these spike proteins it has these receptor binding domains and these receptor binding domains have affinity for the ACE2 receptor the angiotensin converting 2 receptor on your cells and so this binding event occurs there's a fusion event in which the host cells membrane fuses with the membrane of the SARS-CoV-2 virus and then the genes, the RNA from the coronavirus, are now inside of the host cell. And so what we're doing in order to hopefully treat patients using CRISPR would be to have the guide RNA that is specific for the SARS-CoV-2 virus be inside these cells so that it would stick onto the coronavirus's genes and then also have the Cas13 protein, which would then go into the cells as well, recognize the guide RNA, and destroy the virus's genome so that it can't do its job of hijacking your cell's machinery to make a bunch of viral progeny. And so the key issue with this approach currently, or one of them, is that getting the guide RNA and the Cas13 protein into these cells so that they can actually fight the infected cells with the coronavirus is very challenging because the coronavirus is targeting the epithelial cells in your lungs and when we are applying or administering medicine to somebody we need to make sure that we're getting the medicine to the cells that it's needed to and we don't want to overdose someone and just systemically give every cell the Cas13 protein as well as the guide RNA, we want to make sure that only the cells that need it get it so that we can give higher dosages that would have more therapeutic effects. And so the big challenge here is how do you get these things which can potentially kill these coronavirus genomes while they're inside of infected cells into those cells? And so that is where a researcher at UC Berkeley or a professor at UC Berkeley named Michael Connolly comes into the picture. And so what Michael Connolly and his lab have been working on are things referred to as lipitoids. And lipitoids are these vesicles, basically, a means by which we're able to package things like DNA or RNA, and these vesicles will have a high affinity, these lipitoids specifically will have a very high affinity for cells, for specific cell lines. And so the hope is that we can use these lipitoids to have packaged the guide RNA as well as the Cas13 protein. And so basically we would have our guide RNA right here, as well as these Cas13 proteins. And then this packaging, this lipitoid, would be able to find its way into infected cells. There would be an additional fusion event of these membranes. And then the guide RNA and the 
Cas13 protein would be able to essentially nullify or kill the virus's genes. And so that is the current work that is being done in this process. It is very important to make a note of here that this is still in the testing stages. However, there was some promising findings recently in which the uh, Qi lab was able to find that when the Pac-Man, the CRISPR therapy, was packaged with the lipitoids, they were able to, in vitro, reduce the number of viral progeny by 90%. And so this is a great finding because it means that basically these viruses are not as prolific when they are having to deal with their genomes getting destroyed by CRISPR. And so this is promising as a potential therapy. And so the next steps in this process here are going to be proving that the lipitoid as well as the Cas13 and guide RNA are safe. We don't want to harm any patients when we're administering these medications. And we're also going to, need to make sure that they are actually effective in human beings, not just in vitro. And so that is the current state of this research. It is very exciting stuff. We've got a lot of smart people working around the clock to try to make these potential therapies come through. And another thing I want to make a note of here is that this is a therapy. This is not a cure. The important thing to note of here is that this is something that we would give to people who were infected or could have potentially been infected by the coronavirus. This is not something that would prevent you from getting infected by the coronavirus. We are still working on vaccines. This is not a vaccine, this is a treatment. And so that is gonna wrap things up for this video. I hope it helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Please stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll talk to you next time.